everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been missing for the past couple of weeks. I haven't really been uploading that much lately and I do have an excuse which I want to first um, announce which is I have a new website. Um, I'll be launching sometime next month. I'm not sure of the date yet. Um, once I know a date I will let you know. But I have a brand new website which is under going like loads of stuff is designed at the moment there's a new layout um that's going to be designed by the lovely abby um which i'll link her below if you want to check her out she's linked she's designed my blog before um she'll be designing the new website as well um i'm gonna keep the name of the website um a secret for now because i want to i want to basically tell you nearer the time I launch. Anyway, jumping on to my favourites. So I'll start with the makeup favourites first and probably the new items. So the first thing is this Bourjois Colour Boost, um, what are they called? Colour Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick and this is um, Peach on the Beach. She looks like this. Um, open it. Um, this is just like a nice pinky like coral shade is like a yeah basically like a cool pinky shade and it comes out quite sheer um, but it's definitely quite buildable if you see there really liking this this is something really nice and just minimal for when I go to work I don't really like wearing bright lips or anything I just like a nice um, little bit of color on my lips just something very moisturizing and this has SPF 15 and it's supposed to last uh, 10 hours. I'm not sure if it lasts 10 hours or not because normally when I apply um, I go to work and I work for 7 hours at a time, so 8 hours at a time um, and it's kind of faded already so I don't think the 10 hour um, lasting is right there but regardless of that I really really like the colour and it's really really moisturising as well so that's that. Next thing are these Scandalize eyeshadow paint and this is in rich russet and this one is in golden bronze so they look like this um, and these are just like a cream eyeshadow I'll swatch them for you again I'll do swatches on my blog if you want a closer look um, so that's rich russet that's rich russet there I'm sorry the swatch is so bad and the light is just taking all the colour away from it. That's that one and then this is the golden bronze. If you can see that. They kind of remind me of the Maybelline colour tattoos. Not in a pot in like the form of an actual tube but um, it, it does the same job. It kind of works as a nice base or you can wear it alone. Um, and I just really like these, they don't smudge the fact that they li literally just stay on your eyes all day and that's what I really really like about them. I chose these two colours because they're just neutral colours. I've been really really liking gold lately um, and I just normally I, when I buy like colour tattoos or anything like this for my um, a base for my eyes I normally go for a like kind of like a metallic brown or Grayish and something along those lines, so I chose that one. Next thing I've been loving and I've currently gone back to is my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. Um, I was using the Bourjois Healthy Mix for a while, um, but I just I don't know I chop and change with foundations depending on my mood. Um, but this month I've been loving the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. I just find this is just an amazing foundation, and I will constantly repurchase this. Um, as long as they keep it in the line but I really really like this and I find that it, the coverage is amazing for what it is like it's I think it's supposed to be a light foundation I'm not sure but it's to me it covers quite well so I like that um, I like the smell of it as well and I like the tiny little packaging it has um, so that's my next favourite. Next thing for my face is this NYX liquid illuminator which looks like this um, and I've just done a swatch here see that. If not then there will be pictures on the blog so I'm sorry if you can't. Um, but I've been using this just to apply on my cheekbones, just to highlight them. I've just recently I've just tried to change my makeup a bit, just not wear the same old makeup um, and just add things and stuff like that. So I've added this into my makeup routine. Just really really nice highlighter. Um, yeah that's what I've got to say about it really. The last makeup thing is my Naked 2 palette. From Urban Decay and when I first bought this 
I don't really use it as much, like, oh, hold the brush, it looks like that. I don't really use it as much, like, I think because the shades in there are so, like, shimmery, and I prefer matte shadows on most days anyway. However, like, I just picked it up the other day and then just started using it, and I've just loved it again, like, I've, I chop and change with eyeshadows as well, like, with palettes, I try to use them use them as much as I can like if I've got a palette that I absolutely love like the Naked Basics palette I then neglect all the other palettes that I do own so I've just tried to use this again I mean this I think this is 36 pounds I paid for it and I've hardly used it so I've just tried to use it again um, I've been loving the shade Snake Bite and Chopper so those, those two shades here um, they're my two favourite shades of the palette. I just find the rest of them, they're, they're workable, um, just not everyday shades. So um, I've been using that onto my skincare. So the first skincare item is the Liz L Instant Boost Skin Tonic, which looks like this. And again, I've been making more of an effort with my skincare lately. Um, I've been, you know, trying to use my toners and everything else a lot more because I have them sitting there and I'm so lazy when it comes to skincare that I just forget to use things so um, I've kind of just wrote myself a nice little routine and just tried to stick to it which I have and I've been using this um, this is like a nice rich like not rich but like kind of like a light actually floral scent um, and yeah I find it just works really well it removes any last traces of my makeup that I may have um, I love the scent and it just works really well. So. On to my face wash or exfoliator. I've been using the Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser by Ren and I absolutely love this. I was sent this I think about a month ago and I, did, I have done a review on my blog if you want to check it out I'll leave it below but um, I absolutely love this. Like there's, I think with cleansers I normally just pick like one off the shelf though you know if I'm going into um, Boots of Super Drug or any you know supermarkets I will just pick the nearest one and probably the cheapest one um, you know as long as it does the job um, but you know lately I've just used up my other one my L'Oreal one which I've shown in a re recent video but um, I've used all that up now and I just started using this a couple of weeks ago and I absolutely adore it like I just first I love the scent of it I love the scent of it. I love how it just gets rid of any, you know, dead skin cells and all the dry patches that I have. Um, and I, it work, it just works really well for my dry skin. And um, I just find that it removes everything really nicely, and it just makes my skin look really bright and you know nice afterwards. So I like that. The last thing for my skincare is this Origins Jingzin Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Um, which looks like this. I got this like last month and I just didn't use it. Um, and I just started using it this month and I just really, really like it. I love the scent of it. Obviously it is an orange pot and it smells of oranges. <laughs> um, but it's really, really nice light moisturiser. It works really well on my dry skin. I'm not sure if that's for everyone. I don't know if it's, um, you know, made for dry skin. But um, I just really like it, like it hasn't done anything bad to my skin, it's, it just moisturises my skin really well and I like to apply this before I apply my makeup and I just find my makeup lasts longer with this moisturiser than it does compared to the, any other moisturiser that I normally have. Um, but yeah, I just like Lastly it. for my beauty favourites is this OPI nail polish and this is in poker.com. So it looks like this and oh my god, it's just amazing. I love it so much that like, I've worn this to death this month. I I like to apply it with white nail polish that as a base and then apply this on top. Um, I again did a post on that. If you want to see what it looks like, then um, you'll be able to find it on my blog. But it just looks like this. It's just really pretty. It's just got blue and pink um, glitter inside, um, and I just love it. I love pairing it with quite a lot of nail polishes. I just adore it. So moving on to my random favorites now. So my first random favorite is. This is the Tassimo pods. <laughs> I'm not gonna take my whole Tassimo machine in here because it's just ridiculous to show. Um, but my Tassimo machine, I, I've kind of just fallen in love with my Tassimo machine. Like, yeah. Um, there's not really much to say about it. My sister has one, um, and she, I think, you know, it's just a hot drinks machine. 
if you don't know what Tassimo is, uh, and you buy pods like this and you make your drinks. Um, I've been loving the hot chocolate one from Cadbury's the most, and the Earl's, I think, English breakfast tea. Um, but I love it. I've just found it so helpful. I mean, I we have an office which is next door to this room, um, and. You know, instead of going downstairs, it's quite a trip to go downstairs, this is how lazy I am. Um, we put a Tassimo machine in the office and it's just been amazing having it there. It's just, like, when you, well actually, it's not been amazing because you know, I now don't need the room. But it's been amazing in terms of drinks and, you know, stuff like that. But I've been loving the Tassimo machine this month. I've also been loving the film Hangover Part 3. If you haven't seen it already, then I'm not sure when it comes out on DVD or whatever. but. It is an amazing film, as with the last Hangovers, it's so funny, ridiculously funny. Um, I'm not sure if I would say it's the best Hangover, I would say the first one is probably the best one, but it's still amazing, nonetheless. For the song of the month that I've been loving is Ellie Goulding, Burn. I think it's one of her old songs, but I've just recently, I don't know, I started listening to it at work, and I've just loved it, so um, if you haven't heard the song then I'll leave a link for that and you can go and check it out but it's an amazing song um, I don't really normally listen to Ellie Goulding but this song is amazing and my last favourite is it's so random but it's this beanie hat it's a grey beanie hat it was from Primark I think I paid about £2.50 £3 for it um, and I've just been really really liking it it's been keeping my head warm and I think I might get a few more of these when I next go to Primark but I just because it's quite big I like to fold it up and wear it so I might do a little demonstration for you but I look like an idiot when I wear this hat so <laughs> please don't laugh at me. So this is what it looks like on I really really like them I personally think I'm gonna get a few more of these especially for the price it's actually really really good quality um, but yeah I just find it really it keeps my head warm so I'm not really I'm not really fussed what I look like so <laughs> Um, anyway, that was my September favourites. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a massive thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.